Hello, welcome to How to Make a Video Game. The first step is to download gaming from yoyogames.com. Next step is to run it. You should get this. If you have a license key, you'll enter it. Otherwise, you will have to purchase it or close it. Try to close it. Because this is a tutorial made for beginners, and beginners should normally have the light version. Well, oh, they don't really think that they can spend money on their first game. Anyway, start off by making a sprite. Make sure to leave the SPR, or else the game will be confused if you ever do coding, which you will always be using the exact same game. Play it. Now, let's map for the player character here. The player character. I'll just speed it up because you can really draw a character. Any. Okay, so now we've drawn our character. Let's just say that we've drawn our character. And you want to erase something. If you use the eraser tool, you'll just cut through your character. But if you use the, color, the background color, you can edit it. And just change it back. Anyway, I'm making him down at the base character. Mm. We'll get an update or home really frequently during this series of tutorials. Anyway, now we've made our character. We'll also want to make a wall. Okay. So we have a wall. This is to zoom in, this is to zoom out, this is to go back to normal size, and control P, and P. Well, what you have is preview. And now make the wall, which I'll just fill it in. See? The wall. Now, we'll go and make our wall object. Make sure to leave the OBJ like you did in this sprite with the SPR. Okay, now you'll click this button and select the, the character or image that you are going to use to represent this. In case um, you are were making a player, you would pick SPR player. But this time you pick SPR wall because, well, that's the sprite. Sprite are the individual pictures. The objects are the actual things that you put in your level. You can't put sprites in a room, which, if you press the play button, it says you must you need one room, and a room is basically a map. I am on advanced mode, which is file, advanced mode, which is control. But if you're in simple mode, it's okay. Simple mode is okay. Okay, net event. No, we don't need an event. I thought this was a play. Sorry. I meant to tell you that. Solid. Solid. Now, go up here. Then you click an orb again and make J play. Sometimes you can use code for this, but we aren't in code. Code will be soon, later, soon, but later. So. Just go and say in the creative. We will. Um, no, this is a game start. This is a game start. Game start. We will set the live four. This is later. And we will set the score to zero, of course, because you don't start off with ten points. What did you do to earn those ten points? That you need to. 
can use your sprite too. And when you want to add another event, let's add a key press up event. This will help your character move up. Speed. I will either choose four, five, or six. Don't choose four, five, six. Choose one. Now you'll want to do right. You may right click, click to copy, and paste it here. But since you're a beginner, you might not want to do that. You might want to drag it over or right click on the icon. Right clicking does do it. And select the direction again and redo the speed. It's quicker to copy. And anyway, down you'll just select down and left you'll just select left. If you ever made your character wanting to move these directions, then you would do something. But I will just um, speed them back. Okay, stop right there. I just right clicked on the left and we have now seen a new menu which is add event, change event, duplicate event, and delete event. I was just about to duplicate the left to make the down. If you press duplicate, it'll let you make an exact copy without using the copy function. Okay. Now we've made our character have a uh, moving around. Anyway, there's now we're gonna need to add the key release left. Key release left will just make a stop. You don't need to add a speed. Which I can do this pretty fast. You do it the exact same thing for each event. Okay, let's test out the game so far. You need to make your room. Okay, there's a little mini map down here. Which lets you go around it. Which lets you go around the room. I really think that mini map is annoying. Okay. Now I just put our character in the middle. Backgrounds. You can select your background color or draw your very own background. This will just be BAC. Make sure to leave the first three letters again. BAC. And then what you want to color. Brown. Now, there's a bunch of tools. This, a little paintbrush thingy. Of course, there's an eraser. This is the eyedropper. It'll let you pick a color, but this doesn't work right now because we're picking transparent. Anyway, now you'll just want to make your ground. So I'll just pick green. And I'll have to set the opacity because I accidentally set it to, to zero. And now I'm going to add a little dot. Okay, so now we've made ourselves a pretty decent looking thing. So, we've made a pretty decent looking background just by adding little green dots that we can now use in the game. So, if you wanted to, you could just select the color and it would be good. But, apparently, our character matches the background color. So, we'll need to add a darker green. I'm just thinking about making it really bright. I'm thinking about making it really bright, making these darker, and then, and then, um, you know, I'm going back to regular color later. I'll just pause through that. Okay, so now you'll want to pick a darker color and 
just like that. We made a darker looking background, which looks pretty good. Now you can do this about as many times as you want to. And Kelly gave me 3.1. I started a new bug. I'm going to move my about it. Now we'll go to the place where it says no background. And say background. Apparently that's what I named mine. By coincidence. Then click the save button. Just name mine tutorial. Okay. Now you just have a full view of the playroom of the play field. And apparently it's pretty easy so far. You just walk around but there is no goal. There isn't even walls. So to design a level, move this over to the side somewhere. And prepare just to design your walls. Here I go. Okay. Now we've just created that. We now want to create the outer border. The shift key can help us. I'm thinking that the shift key is now a useless key. Now, if you hold it, you're able to do this. If you don't, you're just going to have to keep clicking. As you can see, I do have markers telling you when I click or not. I just finished my outer border. And you can do that with just one click. You might notice that these are transparent. This is outside the room. If you make anything outside the room, I think it'll tell you. See? There are instances or tiles outside the room. Tiles, we can get used to tiles later. But tiles are used as tile set. And you'll be able to use it as a tile set. Tiles are only able to be used in advanced mode. Okay. Now. This is strange. So we're able to go through walls. So you need to duplicate the release. Collision with the wall. Or else you'll be able to go through the walls. And now the collision events look pretty nice. You're not able to go through that. Need to be released a little left. You use a control key and right click to delete. Control right click to delete. Unless you have an older version, then it's just right click. I used to have the old version. Okay. Okay, now you're really able to go through the entire room. Get a full view, stuff, but you know that there's enemies. That will be the next tutorial. Stay tuned to how to make a game.